Yo, what's good? Big Z here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. Just feels tight. This track is all about the groove. It's about how the bass line and the lead rhythm play off of each other. And the good thing about how simple this track is, is it gives the drums a lot of space in the mix. And that helps out the groove as well. Let's get into the bass line first. So this is actually a sound I made in the free synth Vital. It's from my new preset pack that's out now, and I just tweaked it a little bit to fit with this remake. To make the bass sound nice and deep, it's all about how you filter it. So I'm filtering out any unwanted high frequencies. So it's basically just this quad saw wave up here that's making up the bulk of the sound. But let me just turn all the filters I have going on off. Just sounds super cheesy. So first of all, I have this filter cutting off everything above like 300 hertz. But to make the bass really come through on phone and laptop speakers, I have this EQ that's really pushing up the frequencies between like 100 and 300 hertz. It just makes it sound a lot more powerful without having to add any more sub frequencies under 100 hertz. So then I have one more filter on here that's just getting rid of any frequencies around like 375 hertz that were still coming in even though I had that low pass filter on there. Then those other two wavetables I'm not actually using, I just have them set up for the macros here. Then the only external processing I have is this EQ that's just slightly bumping up the frequencies around 200 hertz. And these are my sidechain settings I'm using to sidechain to the kick. So it's a simple bass line, but it interacts really well with the rhythm of the lead melody. If I switch back and forth between the MIDI of the lead and the bass, you can see the lead melody is, has a faster rhythm and some shorter notes in there, but it's a pretty similar pattern overall. And this lead melody is really all about the note lengths. Having some notes a little longer and some notes really short helps the track groove really well. Here's what it would sound like if all those notes were the same exact note length. Obviously that sounds terrible. Let's switch it back to the way it was. It just gives the rhythm a nice bouncy feeling when you mess with the note lengths like that. So let's talk about this lead sound. It's a sound also from Vital and also from my new preset pack that just came out for Vital, but I tweaked it a little bit. It's just this classic fade wavetable right here. And I'm actually not using this oscillator two or three in this sound either. And then over in the effects section, I've got some compression, a little bit of soft clip distortion, this EQ on here, and I actually took the reverb and the delay totally off so it's completely dry. It would be cool to automate some parts of this lead melody with these macros over here. For external processing, I just have some ozone imager on there because there's actually no stereo widening effect within Vital. And then after that, I just added some EQ on there, cutting off the lows and the highs. So the fact that there's only a bass line and one lead layer just gives so much space in the mix for the drums. So we start with this kick that has an interesting pattern. Like every three quarter notes, it adds an extra eighth note in there to give it a little bounce. Making use of the extra space we have, I've used a couple different hi-hat layers here. 
So I'd say that's kind of the main character of the hi-hat, and it works really well with that first hi-hat I just showed you. And just to add more body and low end of the hi-hat, I've added this third layer. And then there's this ride sound that sits on top of all those layers that's a lot longer. That ride adds so much energy to the whole mix, I'll toggle it off and on. Then these last four layers down here are all about adding some groove to the drum beat. By the way, you can get all those drum sounds I just showed you down below for free if you want them. And if you're interested in those vital presets I showed you, you can check them out in my new preset pack at BigZSounds.com. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. Just feels tired.